Uh, welcome to my YouTube account. My name is Pastor Evans Body. May the good Lord bless you this morning in the name of Jesus. Uh, this morning we are here to check about uh, snake farming at home. Having your snakes at home. This is an easy thing that you can uh, begin at home. And uh, as a beginner, I just wanted to see uh, how we started and how far, how many snakes that we have in our paint so this is how we began it this is it uh, we started uh, with uh, these two paints these two paints and then as you can see there are a lot of uh, there are varieties of the snails we have different different types of snails but they are all mixed together at the moment so as you can see, we have a lot of the snails inside. So we need to separate uh, these snails so that uh, we can have uh, one type of snails at a uh, in 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 a uh, in a paint. So you can see even this one. Just look at the color. Uh, and uh, um, you see these types so we need to separate them and then they are now laying eggs so as a matter of fact uh, we need to have a different paint for all these snails we are having more than um, more than 300 or 300 to 400 snails at the moment and most of them are under under it uh, they are under the leaves you know that is where they lay their eggs so most of them are under the leaves laying eggs so but maybe in three to four months time we will be having a lot of these snails here and it's a backyard uh, farming you know it's my own house and then uh we are making these things and i can tell you we have a lot of fruits inside what you see here is a uh, mango fruit. Mango fruit. We go to the market and then we get these fruits and we have cabbages also. We have carrots and everything. We just bring them and then they they eat everything. So far as you don't mix salt. Salt. You don't have to have salt in the food that you give them. They eat everything. So mostly if you get fruit you can give them the fruits to eat. So we have the mango here. We have the cabbages and everything here. And then you can see I have this cabbage here. I went to the market to get this uh, cabbages. So I'll be washing them and then I'll give it to them later. So this, uh, this is one step that you can begin it. You just try and then make a small paint at your backyard. And then afterwards, you get your snails inside. You can start with maybe 10 snails. You can start with 15. You can start with uh, 20. Or you can even start with five snails. And when you start, you start with the good ones. They have one snake called Catraven or so Catraven. Those snails, you don't need them. You don't need them at all because they are not that strong. But if you get these ones in tree, we call them pobre and then enwapa. If you get the pobre and then the enwapa, that will be the best ones for you to, to begin with because they are very strong and they don't die as the catriven. So this morning, I'll just end this session here. And then tomorrow or next week, I will bring the next session. May the good Lord bless you. And then I will encourage you to, to begin now. And move on to her. I will say, yes, it's here. And can't you say, be a next year, and I say next month. If you have your own house and you have some backyard that you're not using it for anything, you can begin it with this snail farming. And I can tell you, there are a lot of people who consume snails now. And then you can begin to make money out from this. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more videos of the snails. 
and then get more videos from uh, what I'll be doing in my next session or my next videos. May the good Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. To which Masha, the Ocosun, you know, me pray, me pray, me pray, me pray, me pray. Mm -hmm. So you can see.